as senior house officers and fellows um, in the different hospitals around Uganda, that is Mulago Re National, Re National Referral Hospital, Kawempe Regional Referral Hospital, Chirudu Regional Referral Hospital, Mbarara Regional Referral Hospital, Kabale Regional Referral Hospital, and Bale Regional Referral Hospital, under our different universities, held a general assembly, a general meeting of all of us nationwide on Thursday, following our grievances and what we perceived as failed dialogue over th three months of engagement, we resolved to painfully lay down our tools with effect from today, the 20th day of February 2022. We have to recall We have to recall that in 2016, at a general assembly held by the Ghana Medical Association at the Imperial Hotel, the, His Excellency, who was our chief guest, then after hearing the, the plea and the cries of what a senior house officer was going through to serve this nation, described the state of working and serving and treating majority of Ugandans, but without any compensation, without any allowance, as modern day slavery. Dear Ugandans, senior house officers are senior medical doctors. We already, have, we already acquired our first degree, actually there are two degrees in one, Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery. We are duly registered with our council, which is the Uganda Medical and Dental Practitioners Council, and we have come back to upgrade and specialize so that we can serve our country better. You've all heard of pediatricians, you've heard of obstetricians who treat women, you've heard of neurosurgeons. Right now we have neurosurgery ongoing here in Mulago. We are the senior house officers. We are the ones providing 63% of the health workforce in those hospitals where we are best. And as of today, if you pass via the hospitals, we have our junior colleagues who we train the interns handling emergencies, and of course all, also other few staff of the hospital. But there is surely a gap. Because if you come bleeding in the night, you've had an accident, God forbid, you've broken your leg, the first person you're going to find at casualty who is going to stabilize you and work on you is the senior house officer in the Department of Orthopedic Surgery. Deciding to lay down our tools was really the last option we had on the table. Because since December last year, we tried engaging the Minister of Health, specifically Dr. Roni Bahutungire, who is the Commissioner of Clinical Services, several times, trying to put our cry out there of why our allowances were not remitted. From October last year, some of our colleagues in Kabbalah University reported in August, and they have not received any allowance since then. Dear Ugandans, as you can see, I'm a married man with a daughter who is supposed to go to school. And our course is a full-time course because we work 25-8. You're expected to be on the ward, you're expected to attend classes, so you cannot work elsewhere. So it is this small allowance that the government committed to pay us in 2021 following the, the most recent industrial action. In a meeting, by a, a meeting chaired by Dr. Chris Pajomunsi, who is the state minister of, I mean, who is the minister of ICT. Present for that meeting was Uganda Medical Association, Federation of Uganda Medical Interns, and the government committed to pay a Miagra allowance of 2,500,000 shillings gross, which is taxed to about 1.8 million. Dear colleagues, this is the same amount of money received by the junior colleagues we train the interns who just have one degree. But we said, yes, this was a very good gesture, a start for what we hoped would be a great journey. But alas, the Minister of Health 
Minister of Finance, and several other stakeholders have decided not to respect the presidential directive to have SHOs paid.